Hey everyone, I'm going live quick to talk to you about cortisone and how it fits into running because I know a lot of runners have this question. And I got this question on our members group for the Run Smart app. Real quick, if you're interested in training smarter, if you're interested in fixing things that could lead to cortisone, be sure to check out the Run Smart app. I put a link in this post. Um, but here's what you need to know is that I always tell my runners that cortisone provides an opportunity. And what does that mean? It provides an opportunity for you to heal, to fix things. And a lot of runners will use cortisone as like a miracle shot, um, and it's not that. So you'll get cortisone, and think of cortisone as like taking a hundred little ibuprofen, crushing them up, and injecting them into a site. Uh, a site. Hi, Joanne. Um, so like, if your knee's sore, we use cortisone when you don't, when you, it's not calming down, it's inflamed, and we just can't get it to calm down with some rest and you're resting in some ice. So you can do is you take this cortisone, you put it in there, it's a steroid, it's like crushing up 100 ibuprofen and dropping it in the joint. The issue with that is it doesn't address the why, right? So why is your knee inflamed? Why is your knee sore? Is your ankle stiff or is your, is your glute sore? That's typically what we see with the knee. So a lot of people will get that injection, they'll feel better, and then what happens is they go out and they do too much and they just re-inflame it or they don't really fix the problem and it comes back later down the road. So here's my recommendation for you is one, make sure that if you're gonna get the cortisone, you can only get three a year because cortisone is eats up good and bad, right? So it's not just like something that's gonna go in and say, where's the inflammation, I'm gonna go get it. It's gonna say, what's in here, I'm gonna get it all, and it's gonna eat up everything in there. So you can only get three a year because it does break things down. So you wanna use them when you absolutely need to. Um, and don't be the typical type A runner who just wants the quick fix because it's only going to get rid of the inflammation. The other thing you have to be careful of with cortisone is a lot of times you'll feel better very quickly. Two to three days, you're like, wow, this feels great. Or you feel much better and you're gonna to wanna to go run. What I always tell my runners is you need to let that cortisone go uh, at least like three to seven days. I usually try to go conservative about five to seven days and then see where you're at. And then once you feel like, okay, the cortisone, I feel good, you start integrating exercise again. You can start biking right away, but you start lunging and doing things. And then you see if you can go run. Um, too often I see runners be like, oh, this feels pretty good. I'm gonna go for my run. And they just pretty much wipe the injection right out because they feel great. So be really, really careful to kind of see where you're at. Give it that five to seven day window. And the last thing I wanna say about cortisone is you have to be very careful around tendons and things that attach. They're really effective at decreasing inflammation, but remember what I said, like when you inject them into a knee joint, they'll go in and they're gonna eat up a lot of different things, good and bad, so we don't want a lot of them. But when you get them injected into certain areas, and a lot of docs won't do this anymore because it is, it can be dangerous, which is injecting them onto tendons. Your Achilles tendon, your plantar fascia. Um, these areas, when you have to get a cortisone, there is a decrease in tensile strength, a decrease in stretch strength to these tissues for about two weeks. So you actually have an increased risk for rupture um, when you inject these things right on tendons. I've seen it on the anterior tib, which is the front of the shin. So you have to be very careful. I only like to use them in joints, or if I absolutely have to, I'll use them in certain tendon issues, but really hardly ever. Um, probably can count it on this hand. Uh, for someone, we usually use PRP now instead. Uh, but just be very careful. It doesn't fix the issue. What fixes the issue is fixing the imbalance, the strength, the flexibility pieces, the, the weakness that is causing that area to get hurt. So be very careful. If you want help fixing these imbalances, if you're struggling to feel good on your runs, be sure to check out the Run Smart app. I just put a link in this post and uh, you can try it for a dollar for two weeks and get full access. All right, everyone, be careful with the cortisone and I will talk to you soon. Bye.